<laughs> good to be able to laugh about that. Mm -hmm. All right, George, thank you. Now to that fatal police shooting. This one in Tulsa, Oklahoma. A volunteer reserve deputy sheriff has now been charged with manslaughter after shooting an unarmed man. Authorities say he reached for his taser, but accidentally grabbed his handgun. ABC's Ryan Smith has that story for us. This is the moment an undercover operation turns tragic. Stop right here. As Tulsa deputies were chasing 44 year old Eric Harris, running from police after allegedly selling drugs and guns to an undercover officer. Roll on your stomach. No one expected this. Oh, sorry, man. Sorry. Volunteer Reserve Deputy Sheriff Robert Bates shooting the unarmed African American man, fatally wounding him with his firearm. After authorities say he mistook his gun for a stun gun. You can even hear the 73 year old apologizing immediately after firing his gun. Harris passed away an hour after the shooting. On Monday, Bates was charged with second degree manslaughter. He knew that he erred. He knew that he used a deadly force instead of less lethal. No one intended for Mr. Harris to, to die that day. Those words lacking comfort for Harris's grieving family, speaking out overnight. He was peaceful, he was loving, he was caring, and he was my brother that I'll never see again till I see him in heaven. The shooting sparking outrage on social media. One user tweeting, when will police killing stop? Another. The video is heartbreaking and nauseating. This morning, many are asking why Bates, an insurance company executive who has been acting as a volunteer deputy sheriff since 2008, was even on the scene in a high-risk operation in the first place. For Good Morning America, Ryan Smith, ABC News, New York. All right, thanks to Ryan. We're going to bring in ABC's Dan Abrams to weigh in on more about this. So the charge of manslaughter, what does that mean? Yeah, second degree manslaughter really means it was a criminal mistake, right? He's going to say on the one hand that this was a, a regular mistake that any person could make. The prosecutors here are saying, no, we think it's, it's more than that. There's a reasonable duty of care that you have to use. You didn't use it. You violated it. And so you moved from being just a mistake to a criminal mistake, now facing the possibility of two to four years behind So how bars. do you think this is going to play out in court, well, I don't Dan? think they're going to fight about the facts much, right? I think there's going to be basic agreement that he didn't do it on purpose. I don't think anyone is going to argue that he intentionally did this. But what they're going to argue over is what should that mean? And they're going to go through sort of moment by moment what happened, how did it happen, and would an ordinary person, would someone who's using reasonable care, have done what he did? And I think he's going to try and use, by the way, the volunteer the, the, reserve deputy right. sheriff. Many people hadn't even heard of that. Right, before. and I, I think that's going to become part of the defense. Is he's going to say, "Look, you know, I didn't do this regularly. Yes, I had training, but this is the sort of mistake, innocent mistake, someone like me could make." Prosecutors are going to say, "Not so innocent." It'll be interesting to see how this plays out. Yeah. All right, Dan.